This is the Secure and Entrepreneur Show for top performing business professionals with massive wealth aspirations. And I'm your host, Aurora Day. Welcome and thank you for joining me here on the 41st episode of the Secured Entrepreneur Show. We are officially in the second month of the first quarter in this new decade. How much do we love that? Last year in 2019, we know that the famed retailer known for its fast fashion, Forever 21, filed a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Now we're going to get into this today because recently a client who felt that he was doing better than expected in his business was being propositioned to expand. In his excitement, he was going to forego the necessary market research required to assure the success of this extended venture. I reminded him of this very same mistake that Jin Shook and Do Wong Chang, the founders of Forever 21, made today. Let's talk about how you're going to avoid making these two major mistakes that has led Forever 21 into Chapter 11 bankruptcy. I'm Aurora Day. Protecting your business starts before you open for business. The first major mistake that Forever 21 made that you definitely want to avoid is expanding too big too fast. This is a retail chain that was opening a new store just about every six months. There were a total of 785 stores at the time of their Chapter 11 filing. As the company grew to over $4 billion in revenue, there was an expansion overseas. Now this expansion was unfounded simply because they failed to understand the fashion trends in other countries. The company was losing about $100 million annually due to these international failed efforts, but they continue to open stores. What is that saying here? They were depending on sales in the U.S. to make up for the loss. However, their merchandise was suffering. The clothing items were being made more poorly than ever, and they were neglecting to keep up with their competitors, you know, stores like Zara and H&M. This is a real lesson because the last thing that we ever want to do is take uneducated or ill-informed risks. Just because the profits are rolling in doesn't mean that we lose control of our senses. Before you make the move to expand your business, it's best to have a team of experts at your disposal who have a history of success in your industry. And let's get on to the second major mistake, which was expanding in retail spaces that were all well over 20,000 square feet. Now, the company didn't buy these commercial spaces. They rented many of them when the real estate market hit rock bottom back in 2008 and 2009. Every business owner who leases a retail space knows that these commercial leases can be treacherous. The larger the space, the more it costs, and you're often tied in for a good five to 10 years. The real issue with this mistake is the failure to research and recognize their customers buying or shopping habits. Forever 21 admits that they didn't put forth any efforts to attract online shoppers and that only 16% of sales are internet based. In fact, as they are reorganizing through this chapter 11 bankruptcy, They're fighting for rent reductions for the stores that will remain open and they say that they plan to heavily concentrate on their online presence. The moral of this story is to know your business. Keep up with the trends that will keep your doors open and don't be persuaded to make a harmful move ignoring relevant market research. After all, this is a part of your legacy. All right, I'm ready to get into the next episode. Remember to like, share, and subscribe here on Stitcher, 
CastBox, iTunes, Facebook, and YouTube. Oh, and by the way, be sure to stop by AuroraDayConsulting.com. That's A-U-R-O-R-A-H-D-E-Y Consulting.com. Until next time, with Aurora Day, you are secure.